you care too much way too much that's why you haven't started that new business that's the reason why you have not filmed a YouTube video when you've been wanting to do YouTube that's why you haven't tried other things that's why you haven't talked to that girl or talked to that guy that you've been wanting to speak to knowing you got a crush on his ass for 55 years and you still ain't said shit because you scared as hell you care too much about everything that doesn't matter how about caring enough about yourself how about caring enough about yourself to do the things that you want to do so you don't regret caring too much when you're on your fucking deathbed i had seen a video a couple nights ago that was talking about I think a nurse or somebody working in hospice or, you know, I forgot who it was specifically, but this person had experience with a lot of people who were about to die on their deathbeds. And the main thing that they regretted was giving a fuck too much about what other people thought. It stopped them from taking risks. It stopped them from starting businesses. It stopped them from doing the things that they wanted to do. But they were too fucking chicken shit to do it. With anything that's worth anything in life, it's gonna come with a little risk. It's gonna come with a little fear, but that fear can be transcended into excitement. Right? It's all about the meaning that you attach to it. But if you care too fucking much about what other people think, you're never gonna do anything in life, and then you're gonna be on your deathbed, or if you don't even get a chance to be on your deathbed and you die instantly, you're going to reflect and go over your life review. And you're going to be like, damn, God, can you send me back? But guess what? Even if you do come back, you can't ever be who you are today. You can't ever be Samantha, Veronica, Wilkins, <laughs> whatever your name is. I can't never come back and be Diamond Janae Murphy again. I can't do that. So me as Diamond Janae Murphy... I've got to do everything that Diamond Janae Murphy wants to do while I'm here because I don't want to be on my deathbed saying, damn, I didn't do Diamond Janae Murphy the right way. I didn't do everything Diamond Janae Murphy wanted to do. I didn't make an impact that Diamond Janae Murphy wanted to do. That's nobody's fault but Diamond Janae Murphy. You know why? Because Diamond Janae Murphy had free will and choice just like you do. Veronica Wilkins Jemima. <laughs> it's a wake up call. You care too much. So what if your Instagram reel gets one view? So fucking what? Guess what, on your deathbed or during your life review, you can say, you know what, shit, I can't never say I didn't try. I might've got one view and it was me, but you can't never say I ain't try that shit. You go talk to that girl or that guy that you really like, maybe they're not interested. You ain't gonna be on your deathbed like, damn, fuck. I knew I wanted to talk to Diamond all of these years. All of these years I've been like crushing on Diamond and shit. You know what I'm saying? God damn, she just, well, wait, she just do something to me. And I just never, I just never, I just never try to talk to her, man. Now I'm regretting the shit. <laughs> you know, I always wanted to talk to Marcus. I always wanted to shoot my shot at Marcus, man. And to this day, I don't even know if I would have took that chance, if I would have shot that shot, maybe it would have went in, right? Or you could say, well, shit, I tried to shoot my shot at Diamond or whatever the case was, but hey, you know, it just didn't fall through. I tried to shoot my shot at Marcus, it didn't fall through, but guess what? I'm not living with that regret of not 
knowing what would happen because I care too much about what this person thought. Do not live your life in fear of what other people think or you're never gonna accomplish much or you're gonna accomplish shit that you just feel comfortable with and nothing grows in your comfort zone. Do you think it was comfortable for me to come on this main channel and talk about these type of, this type of content? Knowing that majority of my channel is drama related? <laughs> Do you think, and, and I'm not saying that y'all would judge me or I'm not saying, but I'm just saying like, you have to step outside of the box. You have to do what is uncomfortable, right? Since when do you see uh, somebody always reacting to drama? When do you see that type of person post content like this? Why am I doing this? Cause I do what the fuck I want, that's why. And I was coming to the point, which I had said in other videos, I was coming to the point to where I was tired of doing the same old shit. And then I stopped posting all together. And then I was like, man, y'all DM me all the time. Can you just at least post something? Can you at least post something? And I took, you know, some time to think about like, what, what should I post? I mean, I like to help people. Why not just do content that could impact people's lives in a perfect, uh, not a perfect way, in a, um, in, in a, impact people's lives in a positive way. That's what I was saying, right? And, one day I just decided, okay, fuck it. We're still gonna do some reactions that y'all wanna see. We're still gonna be talking about some topics that y'all wanna talk about. But at the same time, I'm gonna mix in shit like this that I know can make an impact. I'm not, I'm not chasing views. Nobody's gonna care how many views you had. They're gonna care about what difference you made in the world. What impact did you make on people's lives? That is gonna transcend, right? And maybe the impact I can make on one person's life can make an impact on their daughter's life or their son's life or their auntie's life or their mother's life, right? That's the type of ripple effect I want. I don't give a fuck about, oh, went viral and that person go viral and, and this video went viral for that and that and that. Okay, that's cool. Virality is cool, right? Been there, done that. But what is gonna leave a lasting impression? Do you think a viral video is actually gonna have an impact to actually change somebody's life for the better? Absolutely not. So, once again, getting back on the topic, don't care about what other people think, right? Of course, on some level, we're gonna have some level of caring about what other people think. It's kind of human or whatever the case is. But I'ma just say this, don't let it cripple you into doing, not doing the things that you wanna do. That's what I will say. Don't allow it to cripple you into not being the person you were meant to be, right? That'll be the worst mistake of your life. You're gonna go all your life in fear just to get to your deathbed or get to your life review and say, fuck, man, why? <laughs> why did I care so much? I didn't accomplish shit that I wanted to accomplish or I did accomplish shit, but it was all in my comfort zone. It was all shit that I knew I could do, right? just saying man and this type of content it just it just feeds my soul it feeds my soul to the point to where I know I'm feeding some of y'all out there I'm already knowing and it makes me feel so good when I see your messages I see your DMs and you let me know hey dime in the video that I watched you know about so-and-so or about believing in myself or about you know childhood trauma whatever the case is and knowing that I can actually transcend that and live the life I want to live like those type of messages are everything to me that means more than oh you went viral for this so oh, oh I want your reaction to that like I said I'm still gonna do those type of videos but I want to make the videos that will actually make an impact that can change people's lives in a positive way and I try to do that with my reaction videos too but I get savage on my reaction sometimes and I still try to put some helpful things in there too but you know, that, that whole thing, that's just entertainment. That's entertainment with a little twist of positivity here and there. You know what I'm saying? But I, I go savage on my reactions. Y'all already know. I'm dialed back a lot from how I used to be when I first started. I dialed back a lot, but you know, this is the type of content that actually feeds my soul. It always has been. Oh, you driving a G-Wagon, huh? Okay, man, look at me. Let me get off this video, man. Let me get off this video. It, it's, it's a lot of good stuff I'm seeing around here. But anyway, <laughs> anyway, man. Like I said, stop caring what other pe people think. 
and like I said on some level we are gonna care what people think all right I can say all day don't care what people think don't care what people think I obviously care what you think if I read my messages and I love to see you guys tell me how inspiring this type of content is I love to see that so on some level yeah I care what you think well I don't know if that's caring what you think or just appreciating your feedback but either way man do not allow what people think to deter you from being who you're supposed to be, doing what the fuck you wanna do, cause we don't have forever. We have now, 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 now. We might not even have the next moment. So stop living like it. Start living right now and fuck what people think.